G'day everyone, another Back to Basics video and another common question. Um, how do I add an LED to a guitar pedal? Uh, but also to expand on that, what is this? What is the CLR or the current limiting resistor? Um, I'm going to be covering all of that. The first part's quite simple. Basically, when you when you wire up your pedal for true bypass wiring, you also add. Um, it's usually part of that. Um, so the status LED is part of the true bypass wiring. Basically the three pole double throw. When you hit the three pole double throw, not only do you turn the effect on and off, you also turn an LED on and off so you can tell if the effect is on or off. Um, so it's part of the three pole double throw off-board wiring. Um, so have a look at my other video about how to wire up for, for um, off-board wiring and you'll see how to add the LED. Now if you see on your bill of materials there might be something that says a current limiting resistor. Um, that is the resistor that needs to be in series with the LED to stop it from blowing, from from burning out or, or blowing. Sometimes they actually can they can blow up catastroph catastrophically if you put too much voltage through them. You need an, a resistor in there to stop that from happening. Um, so this is a very basic um, uh, schematic that I that I drew up on the right here. You've got a you've got a battery, nine volt battery. It can be any power power source, of course. Doesn't have to be a nine volt battery. You've got the LED and you've got the current limiting resistor down the bottom there. Um, so you've only got those three components that make up the LED switchable part. If you, if, you, if you put a switch in here, an on and off switch, that basically shows the switching part of the offboard um, wiring, um, just so you know. So you have to have that current limiting resistor in there, otherwise you'll burn out the LED unless you've got a very, very flat battery. Um, and you've got to determine what value that current limiting current limiting resistor is. Now, often on bill of materials they'll just have a standard value of 4.7k and there's a reason why that's there. They use a particularly high, that, that's, a, that's a particularly high value for a current, limi current, current limiting resistor because if you use a water, a water clear blue LED they're quite bright so if you use a, approximately a 5k resistor you, you'll bring that brightness down, it won't blind you. But if you use a dim LED um, in, in, in your offboard wiring um, and you um, use the same, the same resistor, it will be so dim that you might not even be able to tell that it's on or off. So the best way to determine what value to use is to experiment with different values of um, resistors. So I'd recommend 1K, 2K, 3K, 4K, 5K, or if you don't want quite so many resistors, 1K, 3K and 5K and test those three, uh, those three or those five and determine which one you like the best. I've got a little device over here called um, an LED tester. Um, it was cheap on, on eBay um, and I think it was about $5 because I test LEDs quite a lot as you'd imagine. Um, and at the top, just to look at it, it's exact. this is exactly the same as what we just looked at before with this diagram. Um, it's basically a whole series of, of resistors and sockets, pretty much. So you've got you've got a whole network of resistors going on um, in parallel uh, in series with these sockets. Um, and I've written up the top here what the actual resistor value would be there um, and across. So you've got 240, 360, 670, 240, 360, 670, and then if you work out, that's pretty much double. Um, so you're looking at 1.3 uh, approximately, and then you've got about 3k on the end there. Um, so we can have a look and see what the difference is. So if we put one in into 3K, this is an orange LED. Um, it's relatively bright, probably difficult for you to tell there. Um, it's not uncomfortable to look at directly. Um, it's pretty good, so that's on 3K. If we put it in the 240 slot, you'll see that if I seat it properly. Nah, this one's not fitting in properly. Oh, I missed the actual socket. There we go. Um, it's like a torch now. It's quite it's uncomfortable to look at, and if you're um, if you're playing on stage and that hits you in the face, it's going to be um, it's going to be pretty bright. It's it's very bright. So get a whole bunch of um, resistors, 1k, 3k, 5k, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and test them in series with a battery. Just get a 9 volt battery, alligator clips, wire it up so that remember that the the long lead is the plus and the little lead is the minus. Um, wire them up the way that I showed on here and test them and work out which 
which resistor has the best um, the best brightness for you. Um, it's not just an aesthetic thing. Like I said, if you're on stage, a dark stage, you know, you're on a dark stage, you hit the you hit the overdrive button, bang, hits you in the face, and you're seeing stars for about a minute. Um, it's it's not a very practical way of um, of having a status LED. You're gonna want something that's a bit it's a bit dimmer, so it doesn't quite um, um, hurt your eyes as much. So that's it for this video. How to wire, uh, how to add the, the status LED. It's part of the offboard wiring, and how to determine the current limiting resistor. Experiment with a whole bunch of resistors, pretty much. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more do-it-yourself guitar pedal tutorials, demos, and videos. Thanks for watching.